We're in Office 365 from Microsoft. I'm going to show you how to assign a license to a user if you are the administrator. And we can just go ahead and click in the upper left-hand corner, and you should see this admin box. If you don't see it, that means you're not the administrator. So you need to make sure you're logged in as the administrator and get those credentials. Over to the center section, we see users, and we're going to edit a user. Let's go ahead and click on users. And from here, we're going to see a user that doesn't have a license. They may have an email address, but they don't have a license, so they can't do anything with it. So we're going to click on that user, and then we're going to go to Mail Settings. And it says here, this user doesn't have an Exchange Online license. So we need to assign that license for them. So let's go up to where it says Product Licenses and click Edit. And we're going to see a lot of different licenses depending on what you've purchased. So we have a lot of different licenses here. We're going to go ahead and scroll down until we get to the area where we can add an Office 365 license. And here's our licenses here. You might see something different. It might say basic. It might say E1. It might say something completely different. But in my case, we purchased these E3 licenses. So let's go ahead and click on. And by default, it automatically gives a whole bunch of other sub licenses to that without any additional cost. So let's scroll on down. Again, you might see a different amount depending on which uh, license you have. You might see a lot less options than what I do because E3 includes a lot of different subcategories. Go ahead and click Save and now this particular user can use their mailbox and all these other different products that go along with it.